Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. We're coming back to you with some more face of the franchise. And last episode, we just faced, well, we just played the national champ, high school national championship game. Back to back years, we win and we dominate at the QB. And now I think we're picking on college. We'll see what this is in store for us. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you like the series, leave a like. Right for more. Let's get right into it. Both of you. What trait do you think will give you the edge at the next level? Gambler, definitely. I feel like when I get in the zone, I can whip the ball all over the yard, and really, there's no one that can do anything about it. Yeah. I'm sure I deserve a little credit, though, there. I mean, I am the one going up and hauling in those ducks. True. <laughs> Why did you but seriously, say that? though, like, why do you have to throw shade at what the past I'm two years doing? have really put things into perspective for me? And thanks to this guy, I'm just fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to college and further my football career. Well, okay, gang, I think that puts us in a great place oh. to go to find out where these two are going. Where am I? Where am I? All right, gents, who wants to go first? Please don't follow me, bro. I want you to have please the honors. The I go it's the least I could do for all you've done for me. All right. Uh, did we go to a small school? Yeah, we're going to Nebraska. Nebraska's right next to Wyoming. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Wow. So the decision is made. Tell us, when it came down to it, what led to this choice? Well... There's been a lot of elite talent that have walked those halls, and I'd love to add my name to that story list. Plus, the opportunity to play for a legend like Coach Miller. I don't even draw. know if that's true. Yeah, he's a guy that's had a ton of success with the school, and I think I, I think there's a lot I can learn from him. All right. All right, Tommy. What you got for us? Let's see, who's it gonna be? <clears throat> Please, like, go to a rival school. That'll be more interesting. Now nah, I'm gonna just pick up your hat. Don't do that, bro. Please don't. Go to. Whoa, Tommy, same question. Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, Batman needs his Robin, and can't break up this dynamic duo. In this case, no, you are not my Batman or my Robin. Do you see why that's so? Ah, you did not in, everybody no, not on today's it. crazy news. Coach Sorry. Miller is stepping down from his illustrious college coaching career, and in his place, the school is promoting hotshot defensive coordinator. I don't like how he just now, Coach O'Brien's been on the rage for quite some time, <laughs> sitting at the top of a ton of schools short list for head coaching. Well, you couldn't do that. But it sure looks like he's just going to stay put and take over the entire program. But what I really want to know is. What it's going to mean for everyone's favorite dynamic duo, the Heartbreak Kids. I know you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years, waiting for your shot, so I made a decision. Neither one of you will be starting. Come on, coach, give us a shot. Oh my god, I don't care about your rings, bro. I, I really I don't. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, yeah, yeah, congrats to you, but I don't give a fuck. Now, as I was saying, neither of you will be starting. Both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both get reps at QB. This is a defense first team now. So I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away because my defense certainly won't. You understand? But 
that you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college and winning a lot more at ease. So I want to rotate you guys. I'm going to stick with the hot hand until I see what I can get out of one of you. And you'll start the first half. If you deal well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. Coach, you can't be serious. You two are competitors, right? That's how you're gonna have to approach this as a competition. Now go on, get out of here. <laughs> Why do I feel like the coach and Tommy are like on the same page. Look, you took your rings off and all. You put them right back. What do you want to show me that for? You could just say, hey, I have three rings. And I would have believed you. Florida at Hard Rock Stadium for the 2019 kickoff classic and an early season matchup of powerhouses. It's the home state Florida Gators taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Are we playing the whole thing? I guess so. Oh, we do have an X Factor. Interesting. Tommy's out in the field. That's even more interesting. Is this still easy? Probably is. Why is Tommy not on the field? That's interesting. First and ten, Nebraska. At the 47 yard, they'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. Like, I kind of feel for Tommy now. Like, why am I seeing the field, but he's not? I understood it before because I'm, I'm obviously better than Tommy. Get off of me. How do we get on the one? They'll start on the ground with Foster. And he'll get this all for the fans, the pageantry. So nice for us to be able to get the assignment to call a few games. Amazing. Let's be honest, there's nothing we'll get when you talk about a college game. And how about the one we're getting right out of the gate? Two powerhouses in the cup. And this will be caught at the 30. And he saved. It's just too easy, man. See, I, I, I like when they be scoring with me. That's what be making it fun. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to take another shot here. Flag. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do. That's all you got to do when the ball's in here. Just, just walk into the defender, and we're going to get it. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. Touchdown. Sometimes I wish these games were something more like I don't know. I feel like the story doesn't go into with the gameplay. It's like they both just fucking suck. But I can't even see the receiver on the far right. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Carter. He's got this almost to the 40. He'll pull the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's caught inside uh -oh. the 20. And he will score. Touchdown. I mean, they're keeping up with our score, so, you know, that's something. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to go up top again. It got his man complete. The 20. Wow. And he can't escape and down he goes. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick 
Coach is probably like, that's inexcusable. You're benched immediately. Like, what? Did he really drop that? Come on, man. Easy. A little too easy. Bro, can you like bench me? What if I get hurt? They look to throw now on first down. Open man here is Foster. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And he will score. Touchdown Nebraska. Like, bring somebody else in my... Oh, my God. I just hate that I'm still in the game. I don't want to be there. I want to be on a bench right there. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to fire one deep. Middle of the... Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. On second and ten. Escaping the pressure right. Another touchdown. And it's like, oh my god, bro. Y'all don't make it any better. Y'all don't make it any more enjoyable. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to try and go deep again. He's got a man complete. And they worked as well. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one. And they've certainly been on point throughout. And he will score. Touchdown, Nebraska. Can't... Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He sets... Like, if I ever do this... Um, series over, it's just going to be me trying to score 100 points every game in high school, college. And that's it. Because cl they clearly do not give a fuck. They just don't. It's actually frustration, not a good play. He's got the first down inside the ten, and he will score. Now back to throw, forced out to his left. And Thomas has it. And all the way down to the third. They're all the way down inside the forty now. First and ten. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that ball is caught for the Cornhuskers touchdown. Defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. Being chased out left. Looking long for Thomas. Even when I threw it right to them, they still couldn't catch it. They had him staring at a third and ten. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite floor. Now it looks like he'll throw here. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that ball is caught for a Cornhuskers touchdown. Please just hold on to the ball. No, I want to give it right to fuck that. They go again, second and ten from the 25. And y'all are blitzing like every other play. I'm just going to outrun you. That's it. Just going to outrun you. Don't give me back the ball. Please do not disrespect me like that again. Just don't. I don't want the ball. Oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, I really test him. Killed you. Did they change my number to 19? Please don't tell me I changed my number to 19. I don't like that. I didn't notice it in the game if they did, but I really hope they didn't do that. So things got off to a solid start. But after several weeks, you and Tommy had rotated quite a bit. Reminiscent of Michigan when Tom Brady and Drew Henson split snaps. 
That had to be frustrating for you both. Some huge Wake up. To get to, and none more what are these dishes doing at my feet? Because it's time for you to start cleaning up your crap. Uh, these dishes have been lying in the sink for almost two weeks. I mean, look at this place. It's a disaster. You're leaving everything laying around. It's ridiculous. Who crawled up your butt and died? You. Don't Girls. tell me I did that to you. Hey, get up, man. I want to watch some TV. You've been laying out here all morning. What's got you two all riled up? Just turn up the volume, would you? The Heartbreak Kids have gone from sensational dynamic duo to a sudden two-headed monster. And boy, this is an ugly one. Hey, I thought I played pretty good out there. This team still has not found its identity. And I know that Coach O'Brien claims that his two-quarterback system is matchup-based. But I gotta tell you, it sure looks like he still doesn't have a clue what's going on. As Coach Madden famously once said, if you've got two quarterbacks, you've got none. And right now, I got to tell you, man, Coach O'Brien's indecisiveness with the most important position on the team is only going to lead to problems on the field. The answer is simple. Just start me. That would make the situation worse. I mean, the team plays better. When so I start field. at wide receiver like you if fucking I did at high rhythm, school. I'd be fine. Last thing I need is to be worrying about you breathing down my neck if I make one mistake. Well, you better believe it that I'll be there when you do. Okay, I see what's going on here, guys. I don't know what made you follow me here and try to win back your old position. I mean, you could have just kept the heartbreak kids going, or you could have went your own route on another team, but you decided to what? Come here and punish me? Is that it? What are you talking about? You're the one who showed up and stole what was mine in the first place, okay? I'm supposed to be Batman, you're Rob. Suck a dick. Oh, this whole thing again? <laughs> Are you dumb? I didn't take anything from you. Your body took it from you. Uh, you're, no, no, we're not sorry. Keep that. No. I'm just gonna leave. Nah, it, 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 it was harsh, but... I don't know what his problem is. You got Is he to lying? Go clear the air. He's the one with the problem. Look, if he wants to talk, he can, he can come find me. <sighs> Jumping fiddlesticks. Beautiful Saturday in the Dallas Fort Worth area. The top travel destination is. I don't want to play any more football. Well, in college, I really don't. As we'll see the Oklahoma Sooners taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Like, it sucks. Do I have to return this? What the fuck? Yeah, they do have me as number 19. Why is that? I don't get that. They will let him throw here on the very first play. He's going to flip one out here to his right. At the point of play action, they'll throw. Penalty. You know what we do from the one yard line. Get off of me. Why does it have me? doing everything i'm not playing this whole game on both sides of the ball that that's what's not gonna they're dead ass making me play both sides of the ball what is this bro they're so serious right now oh my god i just do not want to do this man. why is this game doing this to me at this point I don't get it. Like, I don't want to play. I don't wanna... We get a fumble, though, and we get the ball back. It's not even like, hey, I'm kind of getting better at the game at this point. It's like, no, you're not. Like, it should get progressively harder as you play, but it's just not. It's so easy. Like, do you see how big this fucking bar is? How can you miss that? And then it goes so fucking slow. I really want to know why they have me playing the whole game. Because this is going to get me a little upset. This is just time wasting. 
steps away to his left. Another touchdown. I really just feel like these games are very pointless at this point. Like, they're super fucking easy, man. Rumble, big man, rumble. to sit here and commentate on a full ass game oh my it's not even like his real college was just fucking basically i have yeah basically i have like no you really have to sit here and play the whole shit it's like come on like the pace is so slow they don't get anywhere uh, Larry playing the whole thing is really just commentating. Because I don't have anything to say. I've scored 100 already. I ran it up. I've, I've did all the exciting plays I've, I could. Like, what more do they want? Like, just in case you guys want This blitz right here. Is one of the most, and I, I promise you, I said, one of the most overpowered blitz in the game. 60 base. If you have good corners and a good defensive line, let me just say decent corners and at least some people that can get um to the quarterback. What did I just say? I don't even know that many. Is it? It's 60. Base blitz. As you can see, I caught it 318 times. I just run solos with this blitz, and it works every time. If you have decent corners and a, once again, decent offensive line, defensive line, I keep saying offensive line when I may mean to say defensive line, it will almost every time work. You almost every time get to the quarterback, you will obviously stop the run most of the time. There's times it's not going to work, but most of the time for me, at least, this, this, it, it works. It's just so easy. Switch your challenge. I don't know how, obviously it's not going to work online because people online are much smarter. Oh my gosh, can it just be over? See, so you can't even put True Clock on. This game is so stupid. Why did I step out? Are you serious? Like, they're not even giving me room to run. There we go. That sack should end the game. Probably won't. Yeah, it won't. Now it will. Very commanding victory. 70 to 0. I barely tried. <laughs> like, if I was trying, I probably could have scored 200 points. Not even a lot of you. Like, I really probably could have scored 200 points. Like, Coach really can't say nothing bad about the game, but. 
It's obviously programmed in there for to say something bad. I bet you. You all right? Because we didn't see uh, I'll be fine. Tommy all game. You know what? We're going to start the video right there. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe for more. I am uploading content as much as I can <laughs> with this um, right now. Um, yeah, I think we're three episodes in. We're about to be four with the next episode coming out, which is the National Championship. So if you want to see that, once again, like the video, subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next video. But until next video, peace. Try to beat me, fuck the thing, it's easy Niggas talking stitches, keep that Michael Beasley Bitches, I mislead him, fuck him, then I flee him Told my mama, got a hoe, she know I mean